Hello everyone, this is Michael Stoltz with MichaelStoltz.com, changing the world one pixel at a time. So today guys, my goal is to show you how to set up your branded domain name with Zoho, so that way you can have a custom branded email account to send and receive email. Now some of you uh, over the years may have used Google Apps and that was fantastic and for some of us we still have some grandfathered accounts but for the newbies want to utilize that service unless you're willing to pony up that five ten bucks a month uh, for an email account it's just not going to happen and then a couple years ago Microsoft had uh, offered some very similar which was very appealing it had its limitations of sorts but um, where through the domain live manager you could do the exact same process and use outlook.com to send and receive branded email you really had some limitations because you were unable to set up multiple groups and you didn't have the flexibility to do what you needed to do here comes Zoho Mail you're good to go so you, you still have an additional option here they give you 10 free accounts ad free each email account is five gigabytes, which is a lot of room. So if you're constantly cleaning out your inbox and doing the right thing, you should be fine. With any email program, I suggest that you always back up your email. Maybe you have a copy of all your email go to a free Gmail account as a backup, or maybe you're using Mac Mail if you're on a Mac like myself, or if you're on a PC, maybe you're using Outlook, the actual program. Uh, that way you at least have an additional copy somewhere else so even if you go to Zoho and you delete your email inside the browser when you log in at least you have a backup so let's get started you want to go to zoho.com forward slash mail you're going to come to this page that you see right here let's go ahead and get started click on the big old button there you see some options here and they're very reasonable a lot of people like to use Zoho because they can integrate other apps like their CRM system there's a password storage tool called Volt which is also free uh, but if you're managing a large sales force or a big company it's really awesome because you can dictate who should have access to those passwords and so if they leave the company hey you still have control over your passwords not the password that went with them so over here you'll see the free account uh, five gigabytes per user five gigabyte uh, bytes uh, doc storage uh, whatever you get 10 users you get one domain and you're good to go so let's hit sign up all right at first uh, you'll come to this first box right here it says you want to add your domain so we're going to uh, pick this domain if I could spell it right Product special info, hit add domain. So you'll do the same thing for yourself. First name Michael, last name Stoltz. Now this is where you want to create your main uh, email account. This is going to be your super admin user to administer um, the whole mail account. So let's just say I'm just going to make it Mike, and then we're going to make password um, something simple for me to remember right now, but. In your situation, you want to pick a good password that is not easy, not necessarily uh, hard for you, but you want to make it hard for others, of course. I, I won't sit here and uh, go on and on about it. The next is the contact email. So um, I'm going to pick um, my marketing work at Gmail. This could be a free account. I suggest it be one that you maybe check regularly. Uh, that way you have ac access to it uh, pretty quickly. So. I'm going to type that you're human and then sign up. Obviously, I'm not human, so let's try it again. Boom. All right, so now it's thinking here. All right, now here comes the fun stuff. It says, hey, congratulations. You've set up your account, your mailbox size, blah, blah, blah. Now the fun part. We have to verify that you own the domain. So in this case, you have three options that they give you. It can be a C name method, it can be the text method, or an HTML method. Now personally, I tell you that um, the HTML method would be the easiest to use because you can upload a simple file to the hosting account and to get going. So we will do that first.
All right, guys, so I am going to choose the HTML method here. And you're going to get this screen. It says, hey, download this file. So we'll go ahead and download that bad boy right here. We'll just hit the desktop, hit save. Now what it tells you now is to create a folder called Zoho Verify under root. So here I am. Let me pull up my FTP program real quick. We'll show you. give you this little example here. So on the right hand side here I have sub Zoho verify and you see the file is empty so next thing you want to do is you want to go down to your desktop and locate where you drop that bad boy off. Just right here and just drop it in. Alright so now now you can see right here that you have the file located in that folder. Now the next step here is confirm that your upload is successful by going to this link right here. So we're going to copy this, open up new tab, hit go. Boom. All right, so file is working. Let's go ahead and hit verify. All right, I'm going to create the admin account. So I'm going to say Mike at Product Special. So create account. All right, so now it's going to uh, step you through their domain setup. So we verified the domain. We're good to go. We've added a user. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit next. You can set up groups if you want right now. I'm going to pass. Change your MX records. All right, so that is the next part that we have to do. For this example, I want to show you HostGator, uh, which they utilize cPanel. A lot of the hosting companies use something very similar. Uh, in there, GoDaddy kind of has their own little uh, setup, but for today's purpose, I'm going to show you HostGator. So here we are, logged into the account right here. First thing you want to do is go down to your mail section. And normally, you see on mine that some of these sections are not expanded. Typically when you log in, all these sections are expanded and you're scrolling up and down. But I have collapsed a few to try to make the screen a little bit smaller. So what we want to do is uh, select MX entry right here. Oh, that's pulling up. Next thing you want to do is you want to select the domain that you want to utilize. It asks you email routing. Well, there are some options here. We won't get into what these all mean for cPanel, but essentially you want to hit the remote mail exchanger because again, this is outside of HostGator or IE, your hosting company. So down here is where you want to add the new record. So let's go over and click on proceed to point your MX record. So here's all you need to know. You got host name, address, priority. So what I like to do is like to copy the address because I know this is at and that's 10. Get back over here. I do priority 10 and destination there. Hit add. All right, it's been added. Let's go back. Let's grab the second one here. That's priority 20. Okay, we're all out of here. So what I want to show you real quick is priority zero. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And the reason why I'm going to delete that is we do not need what the default is for your hosting company. So just make sure in your MX records that everything is set uh, to Zoho standards, which are just two entries right here. You'll be good to go. Now you see over here where it has the host name at sign, uh, places like GoDaddy, for example, or one in one um, and some of the others. Well, actually have you put in a host name which is just the at symbol so it's very cut and clear in this case HostGator already knows what they're doing so they don't even give you the option to mess with it so once we do that we're going to hit make sure you select the remote mail exchanger again hit change and it's good to go all right so let's give that a little bit it's going to take a little bit of time uh, for it to propagate 
right, we have no inboxes to migrate, so we'll move on here. We're pretty much done. And there you have it. Uh, now you have your inbox created here. You're good to go. Now, one thing to keep in mind, um, you probably received an email from Zoho. Now, this account is one of my uh, accounts I just use for miscellaneous stuff, as you can clearly tell. But what you want to do is click on the confirm link. So it confirms that this uh, backup email is registered to your account. So we're good to go there. Go back to Zoho, you are all set up. Now one thing you could do is go back over to your control panel and there's some modifications that you can set up. So this is kind of what it looks like. Uh, you can upload a custom logo, just choose it, hit save, you're good to go. And now anytime you log into your email or anyone else that you set up, it'll show up over here in the left hand corner on there. One last thing we have to do guys is when you're in your control panel, click on your domain, you're gonna to come to this screen right here. Down at the very bottom, Zoho recommends that you add a SPF record to your domain. So it's kind of like adding a license plate to your car. Uh, it, it's a good practice to do. So let's click on that. It's going to open up a new tab, which I've already done that. Sender policy framework, first header. And what you'll find is Zoho, they're very good with, with their help section. So if I haven't covered something, which it's more than likely I haven't, mainly due to the time. Uh, and also there's a lot of things you could do uh, to customize this further. But what we want to do is copy this record right here and we'll go back to HostGator or C panel. Scroll down to our domains. You want to hit Advanced DNS Zone Editor. Now in GoDaddy or something like that, uh, it's going to be very straightforward. Uh, everything's going to be on the same page. So MX records, add a C name, add a text record, it's all there. So let's go ahead and pick our domain name and let's call this, let's see. Here, we'll call this 14. Just like the drop down here. Boom, pop that in. And we'll call this uh, Zoho SPF. And let's see, products. Special.info. And we'll hit add record. see it right down here at the bottom it should be good so we are going to delete the old one right there alrighty so there you go guys you guys are good to go I want to show you how to check the email once you've created and set up your inboxes you have a few options. You can actually create a subdomain that will redirect to the login page for Zoho. That's a whole nother video and, and time, but that is possible to do. The easiest way is just type in zohomail.com. It'll redirect you to the page that we all started with on this video. Over in the right hand corner, just hit sign in. Use the uh, credentials that you set up during the process. Sign in, you know, pretty straightforward. And there you have it, <clears throat> there's your inbox. And once that loads there, um, the last thing you wanna keep in mind is if you need to get back to your control panel, over on the right hand side, since you did log in as a super admin, click control panel, mail and docs, and we're back over there. Yeah, appreciate your time today. Hopefully this video has been helpful. I know there's a few things I may have left out, but due to the time, I want to keep it short and quick as possible. If I can help you any, just let me know. You know how to get a hold of me. And I hope all of you have an awesome day. Talk to you soon.